Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the latest fixes, updates, and patches that have officially come with Grand Theft Auto 5 and GT Online's new update, Patch 1.10. This patch was released earlier today, right after the Grand Theft Auto 5 PC trailer, and it has a few miscellaneous fixes that I think are really key. And there's also a few things in here that haven't been touched that I also really like as well. So let's get into all the details, and of course, I'll include a link in the description if you want to look at the very small but still very important updates in this patch. So let's get started. So the first thing they fixed was graphical issues on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One introduced after title update 1.08. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about or any of those issues with title update 1.08, there were really things like car deformation bugs, parallax overmapping bugs, lots of texture popping and glitches and frame rates not showing up. And it looks like with this title update 1.10, they have officially fixed not only things like car deformation, but also parallax overlapping, which is a really important feature to make sure that all the textures and graphics look really smooth and look really nice and up to date like a next generation console would look like. So it looks like minor fixes like this, but in the grand scheme of things, these are huge because we've been having lots of big issues with the next generation version in terms of graphics, uh, you know, textures popping, frame rate issues. So I'm really glad to see that Rockstar has taken action on this and fixed these bad graphical issues. Another thing they fixed were the crazy player issues where players' characters' appearance would change periodically. This is what I was talking about when my character would go from white to black and his face would get incredibly ugly. I've seen so many reports of this, whether it's their characters changing colors or their characters suddenly looking old and aged and wrinkled and gray. It was absolutely insane. So I'm really glad that Rockstar is patched up this bug whatever was causing this because even going around Grand Theft Auto Online I would notice characters like that guy is really ugly and it was just really weird to see like these crazy character deformations that were just messing up you know people's looks so I'm glad that they fixed that it's a step in the right direction and also they fixed an animation issue where another player aiming on your screen would not play the correct animation now I've not seen this before I'm sure it was a small bug but literally those are the only miscellaneous fixes that title update 1.10 for the PS4 and the Xbox One has fixed. Although probably the most important thing were the things that were left off of this title update. Now I'm talking about some of the outfits that we have like the garbage man outfit and the policeman outfit, but also some just cool little glitches that we use to make our characters look great, like the heist duffel bag glitch. These are all things that we've done to make our characters look really cool. And I'm really glad that as of now, these features and methods to do them haven't been removed. Now, another thing that hasn't been touched was modded vehicles like the Duco Death, the Go Go Monkey Ballista, and the Lost Slam Van 2. I'm hearing reports that these have not been removed from garages, so I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section as well. Follow up with me if you have them in your garage for whatever reason. Check, make sure you're still there. But from the reports that I've heard so far, they have not been removed. So if you're a fan of that, that's great news. I personally don't mind them, especially now that we have the Insurgent and the Armored Karuma. I see no reason why the Duke of Death shouldn't be in Grand Theft Auto Online. But anyways, that's all the information I have for you guys today. Title update 1.10 is live, fixes a lot of things that were necessary, and also doesn't touch a lot of things that should have been left there. So I'm really happy about that. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.